ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6. I have made my way over to Hermitland, and I gotta say, look at this! <laughs> look at this! There has started to pop up like a shopping district here, so I, know, I knew about Sahara Eats, obviously. And I also think I saw the video when Stress Monster built the ice shop, but I didn't know about this! I mean, this is just... <laughs> this is just the cutest thing ever. I think Scar has really captured the like miniature version of uh, of uh, cherry computer <laughs> cherry computers. That is just <laughs> oh, that is that is absolutely brilliant. I love that. I'm hoping today to be playing a few of these mini games. I really want to play or have a replay of the jousting game later today because I did play this as a guinea pig. And if you want to see that, you can watch uh, Stress's episode a few days ago. But I really hope to play it for real, because there is stake in this, you can actually win diamonds in it. And speaking about winning diamonds, there is also the diamond drop, which I really want to try out. I mean, this idea is just, yeah, just fantastic. But to start things off today, the main reason I'm over here is because I want to finish this minigame. This minigame was something that I thought I could do in one episode, and it turned out to be a massive project. So to remind you all, this is the game where everything is random, so yeah. I, I failed at the very at the very first task and the goal is to get as far as possible get as many keys as possible and then use the keys in this thing and this thing is just the coolest thing ever you put a key in you press the button and hopefully everything's still working yep oh, I love this thing and then at the end of it a random loot box pops up here now I only got this one but yeah, I, I can just stand here and watch this, to be honest. I can literally just stand here and watch this thing. <laughs> but there you go, and there's the random loot you get. So we also have to do the random loot. There is a lot of things that I still have to do with this game. I think we can all agree, though, that the very first thing should be to dis or finish up the design here. So we have a tunnel coming out there. That's where you come out with the keys, and I want to link that up to this thing and then exit the game somewhere in the middle. I also want to build a structure around this thing so that we cover up the redstone and make it so that you don't just walk through it. I guess we should probably have the exit of the game all the way over here. I have brought a bunch of resources over here, so we should be able to do something. And I think we should do the finishing up of this general area in the form of a third person time lapse. Now this is not a super long time lapse at all, but I will say this, I did have to spend a full shulky box of cyan terracotta. It turns out that covering up the jackpot wheel was actually quite a bit of a bit of a stretch. It's, it's a massive, massive construction. Anyway, I had to be a little bit clever about the area that I'm building right here that neighbors Exuma's minigame because he built that minigame after I marked out my plot and he needed a little bit more space that overlapped the, the plot that I had made for this minigame. So I made a few changes and made it so that that tunnel just kind of wasn't anything else than a tube leading into the center, but I think it turned out really cool in the end and covering up everything with cyan Really made this thing look like I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, but I feel like this looks like some kind of modern Toy store. <laughs> I don't know why I think it's because of the magenta color the yellow color mixed in with the I think I used three, four different types of greys in this, and yeah, it's it's a really, really little cool concept for a bigger build, and I, I think I'm gonna use this palette again sometime, I think, I think it looks cool. Welcome to RUN! Random Unfair Nonsense. I mean, that, that's a pretty clever abbreviation, right? I, I spent ten minutes on that. This game is all about randomness, patience and skill. Please read the rules before playing. Jumping is only allowed in the green section. Do not run plus jump on the ice section, obviously not flying around the pearls. And I think it's important to mention that because uh, the hermits are smart. They're smart and... Oh dear, it's raining. And don't break your keyboard. Put a diamond in the magenta shulker box, this one right here, and press the button. Button. Everything in this game is down to random chance, even getting the door to open. If the door doesn't open after you hear the sound, then you have to put a new diamond in and try again. After completing a section, yellow, blue or green, you can decide to exit the game to the left and collect your keys. The keys given, however, are random. The yellow ones are 0 to 1, blue 0 to 2 and the green 1 to 6. 
The keys are to be used in the jackpot wheel. I mean, that is a pretty good name for that thing, I think. Walk up the stairs and put a key in the chest and press the button. If you get lucky, you may get a mega epic reward, or you could just end up with a bunch of dirt. That being said, you always get to keep the Schalke box presented. I think that explains the game pretty good, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. This was actually a pretty tricky thing to build in this general area, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I also installed a door on the back here. So now when you're done playing, you plop out here, and then in the future, I guess we'll link this up to the road. Which, by the way, I don't know why the road is not going this way. I feel like I picked the wrong side to build this minigame at. But anyway, all of that is done. So the game is now officially open and ready for anyone to play. Except for the fact that there, there are no rewards. Yeah, I, I knew there was something. <laughs> we, we, we now have to do all of the different Schalke boxes that goes in this game. And I, I, I don't think I have enough Schalke boxes. I want to have a lot of Schalke boxes in this thing. And how on earth am I going to transport them all the way over here and all the materials in them? My elytra is completely broken, so I have to walk back through the nether and all the way to my island? This feels like Minecraft 2015. I forgot how it is to walk around. <laughs> we really need a great XP farm over at Hermitville because... <laughs> This was painful. It was really painful to walk all the way back. Just to be good in the future, I'm going to keep an elytra at all times in my ender chest. That will help me a lot. So how many Schalke boxes do we actually have to spare? Not that many. Um, that is 18, 21 Schalke boxes. <laughs> That's all that I have. I could possibly... Empty some of these at uh, 22. No, this is not my grandmother's old rug. This is my ender chest emptied so that I can carry over all the loot boxes that we're gonna do. So here are the amount of Schalke boxes that I managed to scavenge when I've looked everywhere around this place. And I think I'm going to do this in a similar sense that I did the Siege of Doom when it comes to rarity. I think color is really, really important. So first of all, I'm going to make the common boxes and I think I'm going to color them white or maybe light gray. Light gray is a little bit more boring than white. And yeah, that, that sounds good. I gotta be really smart with the rewards and I mean the common ones shouldn't hold two exciting things because you get to keep the Schalke box. So in theory you could pay one diamond for a Schalke box and there would be stuff in it. So since I have to be smart and since they shouldn't hold too many good things, I think at least two of these common boxes are going to be filled with Prismarine. Because I have a lot of it and I mean it's not a terrible reward for one diamond if you get lucky. I really do hope the Mumbo plays and get this one. That would be absolutely hilarious. So I got all of the common ones filled in and some of these are actually pretty good. Some of them are completely useless, but some of them are pretty good. It's it's all it's all up to random chance, of course. Like you could buy one of these, including the Schalke box for one diamond. And in, in that case, every single one would be a really good, good deal. Onto the rare boxes and these I'm going to have six off and they're going to be yellow. The first one is a full sandbox. This is why you make a good villager setup, because a lot of the things that we can put in these boxes, such as quartz and bricks even, are pretty hard to come by. But if you have a good villager setup, I mean, this is, this is just the easiest thing. So all of the rare boxes are done, and I kind of want some of these to be a surprise to you guys as well when you see the others play this game. So I'm not going to show you all of the contents. We're gonna have two epic rewards, and this one is the first one. Bunch of beacons, iron, and fortune books. I mean, that, that that's a pretty good reward. And this would be the second one with five elytras fully kitted out, a silk touch pick, a silk touch shovel, both kitted out, lots of sea lanterns, and two fortune books here as well. The best one you can get is the mega jackpot. Now, I've got one notch apple. These are really rare, and you can only find them in dungeons, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the mega jackpot. Jackpot. There's going to be other things there as well, but already there, I mean, this you, you can't craft these things anymore, so hopefully that is valuable. <laughs> but I said when I built this game that I also wanted to have a chance of someone winning an insane amount of diamonds, and I'm thinking 25 blocks? I mean, that's, that's a lot of diamonds. How about that for the mega jackpot? 24 blocks of diamonds, a full stack of gold blocks, and the notch apple. 
I think that's a pretty good reward considering you could, you could, the chances are small, but you could get this for one diamond. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy with that. So with all of that, it's time to go back to Hermitville and hopefully I don't die and lose all of these. That would be absolutely horrendous. I guess I'm taking a bit of a risk because every time I go to Hermitville, if my elytra is functioning, this is the way I get there. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, many times I've... <laughs> Many times I've been very close of dying, but I am a pro nether flyer of doom, so here we are. Alright, so I've put all of the loot boxes inside the jackpot wheel and I've got myself five keys. I just want to try this out and see what we get. So first one, and again, this is just so satisfying to watch or go through. I love this thing. kind of want this as a tunnel in my base, to be honest. What are we gonna get? Is it gonna work? We got a common one. And a really, a really sad one at that. Alright, here we go again. I mean, it is worth using your keys just to do this. I'm sorry I keep saying it, but I love this thing. Here we go. A common one again with some concrete. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the rates are working. That's good. You should be getting common most of the time. Third time the charm. Oh, it actually was third time the charm. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I am really, really, really happy with this. And I hope that the hermits will enjoy playing this game. I actually think that this build turned out pretty cool when you fly around it. It's sort of built into the mountain. And I, yeah, I, I really like that. I think maybe... Maybe I should add some more leaves on the back there. But anyway, now that this is ready, I want to play two of these games at least. I want to try the night game and I want to try Scar's Dropper game. So for this game, time to summon in an old friend of mine. We're gonna joust. I, I can't speak like a knight. I've always wanted to have that sort of... You yes. do it really well. Yes. This <laughs> afternoon we shall joust, sir. <laughs> Yes, sire. What's the difference yes. between sire and sir? Uh, sire, I believe, is referring to a prince, or <laughs> I don't know. I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's ten diamonds each anyway. I'm putting my ten okay. diamonds in. What side do you okay. want to be, dude? There we go. Um, I'll take the blue, the baby blue. You know, okay. like my eyes. You know, I, you know? I, I, I can, That's I can feel. I'll take beautiful. the, I'll yeah. take the magenta, like my eyes. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. and I, fe I fell off the horse. <laughs> Alright, I have mounted my steed. His name is Tim. Does your horse have a name? Yes. My horse has no name, sir. No name Tim, at all. the righteous steed. Are you ready to get wrecked, my dude? Yeah, Philip is my yes. horse's name. Philip? Um, yeah, um, lovely. Okay. Yeah. I'm very ready, dude. I'm very ready. I'm gonna... I'm Are gonna, you on the pressure I'm plates? Ready. I'm on the pressure plates. Alright. Good luck to you, sir. Good May the finest gentleman win. Is this not working? Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> yes. When uh, do we go? Uh, am I standing on both pressure plates? Yeah. Here we there go. we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hit your horse. Oh, I hit you your hit horse. Tim. Dang you it. hit Tim. <laughs> Did I hit you? No, no, you missed. But it's it's no, you're not supposed to turn oh, around. <laughs> keep riding. Name. Keep riding. There you go. Okay. And we just keep going around like this. Oh yes, okay. All right. <laughs> you're just standing there. Okay. <laughs> Onward! Tim! Onward! Oh I hit you! I hit, oh you hit me as well. You hit me. I hit you in the face, dude. You got... <laughs> oh. oh my oh. goodness. Okay. I got you in the lip. Yep. Your oh. your your aim is great, dude. Okay. Onward, Steve. Onward. I mean, Tim. <laughs> I'm down to four hearts now. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I oh, missed. I missed. Missed. <laughs> missed. This game is so awesome, dude. Yeah, it's one. Bing, bing, bing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh for goodness sake. You shaved my beard, sir. Thou <laughs> dost shave my beard. Come okay. at me, sir. Yes. Oh, my for goodness. my lady. For what's your lady. what's your heart at? What's your heart One at? One and a half, dude. I'm this at a half half a heart. Joust. Yeah, this, this is, is it. The final this joust. is it. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I can't believe this. Tim, for queen and country. Go. go. Oh! <laughs> how did you? How did I not get hit? 
What the heck, dude? I have that went straight past your little Swedish face. I was. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. I thought that I was that I was hit. I thought that that was it. But no, I got it. Oh, GG, man. my friend. GG, G -G, my friend. G. G. Shall I get your champion's loot for you? I can do that for you. Uh, no, you know? it's it's uh, it's okay. You know? No okay. worries. Oh, this Ooh, is awesome. look at that! I should get. Yep, yeah, fifteen diamonds. I got fifteen. Oh, <laughs> dude, that was so sweet. <laughs> can I get like a, a just single there. diamond? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I, wipe I need your, to get some carrots. <laughs> I need. Oh, some... really? You're out of carrot? <laughs> you know that there is Sahara Eat <sighs> just around the corner. Yeah, that's that's where I'm going. I, I also need to hire a doctor to pluck these tridents from my butt, so that also <laughs> needs to get done. <laughs> Four diamonds profit. That's not a bad uh, win already. And now I want to see if I can turn that four diamonds into even more diamonds. Where is this thing? Over here. I don't know where the instructions for this thing is, though. I gotta say, I mean, this looks incredible. Oh, <laughs> there's a tent up there. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe that's where I have to go. Welcome to Diamond Drop. Read the instruction. The objective is to catch as many diamonds as possible while free falling from the plane. If you die, the diamonds must be returned to the diamond chest in the tent. The diamonds you catch and land with are your prize. Take five rockets. Okay, so we get to use five rockets. Place your items in the locker. Take one parachute. Oh, okay, so you do get an elytra and pay here. Five diamonds for two jumps. Okay, so we got 14 diamonds. I want to see if I can make a profit. So we're paying five diamonds. And I guess I put the rest of my diamonds in there. While free falling from the plane. Okay, so I... Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. But I'm guessing that I should free fall all the way down. And then when I feel like I'm close to this, I need to like let my elytra out and start flying. Yeah, I, I guess that's something something like that. They should really make it like in Bedrock, where you can just set your spawn by right-clicking on the bed. Larry, make sure to look after my stuff, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna free fall. I'm gonna jump for diamonds. So, how do I start the thing? That's the only thing I'm wondering, but I guess, I guess there's something up at the play. Yeah, there are droppers up here. Oh my goodness, this is so cool! Press the button and wait for flight. Sky Diverse, welcome to Diamond Drop. Stand on the trapdoor. Capture as many diamonds as possible before activating your elytra slash parachute. Timing of the release is crucial for success. Okay, I do get two jumps, so I guess this first one would be my practice. Here we go. Uh, come on. Oh, I see a diamond block. Okay, I'm, re I'm, I'm activating the elytra. Yeah, that, I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. I paid five diamonds and I got a diamond block. That is victory. So I guess I get to bank these diamonds before I fly the second round. It doesn't say anything else. It only says that I return diamonds if I die. So that gotta be per jump, right? Yeah, I, I'm gonna assume that. Okay. And we get one more jump for our five diamonds. This is <laughs> this is awesome. So second jump. I I now fully feel like I have an understanding of how this works. <laughs> Come on. This is, like, this is scary. Oh, 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 God. Uh, break, <laughs> break. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. I mean, I'm assuming at the moment that I don't have to land on this target site. Yeah, no, that's, I'm, I'm assuming that that is how it works. So there we got four diamonds. This is a giant profit. Yeah, I just made eight diamonds. I just made eight diamonds. I mean, this is going really well today. So in total, I've made 22 diamonds. Is that is that correct? That's what I made today from just playing games? I'm really happy with the 22 diamonds profit I made off the gaming district. And I needed it after stocking all of the stuff for our run game. Now I just wish that all the hermits are going to go and play it. Anyway, we're back on the island, and I wanted to show you guys, I've been working over the past three hours or so on a road extension. And I'm not gonna lie, like, this road, I think it looks absolutely awesome, but it takes forever. <laughs> it takes forever because it's like, I have so many blocks in the mix that I gotta make and gotta make sure that I have, and it's a lot of gravel involved, a lot of dirt, but I really, really feel like it's coming along. I feel like over here I may need a little bit more brown on the edges, a little bit more of these acacia, a cha-cha, and 
I love these ravines, so I'll probably add them somewhere as well. All in all, I'm really excited now that one is finally done, and I'm really excited to see other hermits play it. But that's gonna do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below, and if you're brand new, consider subscribing, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.